Hi guys, it's Hani here and today I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to create these colorful Jekyll lantern cookies. So let's get started. I'm going to show you three designs using three different templates. These templates can be found in my template shop. Link is in the description box under the video. So I'm going to start by spreading a thin layer of real icing on my cookie. You can use a spatula or a palette knife or a brush to spread it on and then let it dry. This is going to take maybe uh, an hour or so tops. This is such a thin layer. And then this is the first template that I'm using and I'm using a scribe tool. You can also use a fine tip edible marker to trace the outline and in the next uh, segment I'll show you if you have an airbrush you can totally skip this step of tracing the outline and the airbrush will create the outline for you but if you don't have an airbrush this works really well and then use edible marker to make a cobweb I am using this is a rainbow dust edible marker it's a dual tip marker so one side has a wider tip like a standard size and then the other side has a fine tip and that's the one I used for the cobweb now I am using magnets to keep the template in place and I'm just airbrushing the basically I'm touching the edge of the paper I'm using cardstock template that I cut out with scissors and exacto knife and I use the black airbrush color now I'm going to um, splatter some gold edible paint and then we're going to use um, this is piping consistency black foil icing and I fitted my piping bag with uh, number two round piping tip I tried using number three but it was a bit too bulky And if you are not familiar with piping consistency, you can check out my detailed blog post and also my video here on YouTube where I cover all the topics, real icing consistency. And if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just scrape the icing off and continue. Now I'm going to divide each of my jack on lantern cookies into segments. And if you see any uh, of any bits of icing with sp little spikes on them or peaks, just use a scribe tool to smooth it out. And once you are done with this step, you can let it crust for about 10 minutes and then you can start flooding each little section with royal icing. I'm using about 20 second consistency here. And I'm using very bright uh, colors today. I wanted to do something more colorful for Halloween. Now, if you don't have an airbrush, I used an airbrush to give the mouth a bit of a um, shading. If you don't have an airbrush, what you could do, you could um, use um, a little bit of um, food coloring you can paint the detail or use a little bit of brown petal dust or black petal dust to shade the edges now when I'm spreading the icing with a scribe when I'm going into those hard to reach areas you see I'm not really piping the icing in the points I'm using the scribe to move the icing into the point this way I don't cover the black outline. Alright, so I'm almost done with this design. All of the designs are pretty similar, they just have a different shaped mouth and the eyes. Now let it crust well and then you can make the stem. I'm using the same piping, piping consistency to make the stem and then clean up the Icing. If there is any um, imperf if there are any imperfections, clean it up with a paintbrush. Now the second design we're using this lovely green. I used um, leaf green and I added just a little bit of black to get this nice shade. 
and the size of the cookie I forgot to mention this is a four inch cookie that I'm using today you can use a smaller cookie obviously and my templates in my uh, template shop they include also JPEG files so with those you are able to resize it to the size you need this is a more of a traditional shape for the jack-o'-lantern with a wide mouth open. You can after do the cobweb if you wanted to. So you saw I used the airbrush to actually give me the outlines instead of using a scribe tool. And if you can't figure out where to put the segments, you can then use the scribe tool or edible marker to draw those on the icing if that's easier for you. And you can see I'm using the index finger. My dominant hand is right hand. That's what I'm using to hold the piping bag. And I'm also using the index finger on my other of my other hand to kind of guide me when I'm piping the lines, especially if your hand is shaking. You know, it does help to uh, give it an extra support or you can hold your wrist if that's helpful. Now I'm using this bright pink I love pink color and this is electric pink I use electric pink food coloring to color my icing it looks really nice with the green I love the look of this color combination maybe it's something I should use more often what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below are you guys planning any Halloween parties this year or cookie decorating parties. All right, so this section is done and we're just going to basically repeat what we did in the previous segment, do the stem, clean up the icing with a soft paintbrush and then make the eyes with bright yellow royal icing, use about piping consistency. And this last design, it's um, made with, but well, not the last design, but this color I used, uh, this is a claret color um, from Progel brand. It's, a, it's absolutely fantastic. I love this color because it gives you this beautiful, deep red pink whatever whatever that you want to call this but it's a beautiful beautiful color now this is a more of a non-traditional shape or maybe it's slightly traditional but I don't see this shape more often it's a bit more scarier than the other one so uh, it's also available in my coffee shop now this one also has a little nose And if you don't have black airbrush food color, I think you could easily use um, brown or even purple, you know, anything that, that will give you that outline and that um, kind of a spooky look will work. And now I'm using royal blue. This is also a striking combination for me anyway. I think it's really nice to have these strong colors together and this is a straight from a bottle royal blue gel food coloring and i'm using tipless piping bags today those can be um, sourced out online i get them off amazon and link to them is in my amazon shop there is a link to my Amazon shop in the description box under the video where I share all the tools that I like to use and it's pretty much categorized into different categories, um, baking, cookie decorating tools and such. So be sure to check that out. All right, and here are these awesome Jekko Lantern cookies. I really like the ones with the yellow um, mouth and black outline. They really, really pop. What do you guys think? Which of these is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.